Welcome to a tutorial about it on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover time delay. So we saw in a previous video, we can work with the repeat macro and the stop macro to create something that repeats a number of times based on some amount of time, seconds, milliseconds. We can count up, and we can count down. There might be some cases though, where you want to wait a certain amount of time and then have some, something happen. We can do that with the repeat macro, but the best case, the best usage, is with the delay macro instead, or timed delay. So let's look at this instead. Notice right here it says timed. So unlike the repeat macro, which repeats a certain number based on the seconds we give it, seconds or milliseconds, here we give it timed, and then a time, S for seconds, MS for milliseconds, and then it will wait, and then do something. So in the cases where you actually just want to wait instead of keep repeating something, this might be a better choice. And of course, both approaches are valid depending on what you're doing and how you're setting something up. So let's go ahead and run this example one code, build and play, one, two, it's been two seconds. So notice we could have done this with the repeat macro, but if we just want a short delay, there's a better macro for that. So we can also, in example two and example B, show an interesting setup of recreating the repeat macro with the timed macro. So let's jump over to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this first and then talk about what it's doing. So this is not generally a good idea, but if you wanted to, you can bounce back and forth between two passages, creating, or recreating that is, repeating the repeat macro. Notice this is gonna keep going and going and going. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and let's go look at this code. So using the include macro, which includes the contents of one passage and another, we can go timed two seconds, include example B. As you might imagine, example B says timed two seconds, include example two. And we just keep bouncing back and forth and bouncing back and forth, as it mentions right here, bouncing back. Now this is generally not a good idea, but if you're in a situation where you need a delay, and you want to show different content, you can replicate the same thing of the repeat macro in a slightly different way. And there might be some cases where, again, you want to prompt a player or reader to do something, time goes by, and then you send them somewhere else, or you do something else, and instead of using the repeat macro, use the timed macro instead. So the timed macro is kind of a special case of the repeat macro, and both Sister macros, timed and repeat, are incredibly useful when we want to work with time and interactivity within SugarCube 2.36. Thanks for watching.